hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about the updates in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop we have got a new version which is 2.41.170.240 so there are new features added in this version of the power automate if you have got a pop-up to update your power automate please update it to see the latest features if you want to update your power automate you have to go to settings and then you have to click on check updates if there is an update for you you will get an option to download it Now we will discuss about the features in the new version of Power Automate Desktop. In the new version, we are going to get the suggested actions. So for example, if you are developing a solution or creating a bot, so it will leverage the AI to generate a list of actions. In that case, you will not have to pick the actions from the actions pane. Right below it, you will get the suggested actions which you can choose from your drop down so this is going to be a very good feature which will help you to create the bots fast further in power automate desktop now new data type has been introduced where you can specify the blank value so in the default value you can specify the blank so this is a new value which is supported in Power Automate Desktop. Now Power Automate Desktop also supports a single sign-on. So Power Automate for Desktop now supports single sign-on so that users can sign in faster with the account they use to sign into their Windows session. Okay. So if you have already logged in with your credential in your Windows account, same will be leveraged to log in into power automate desktop so it's not like that once you log into your system you will be prompted to enter your credential again in power automate desktop there are few new actions which have been introduced in new version of power automate desktop so first one is that where you can use launch word so this is very useful while automating the task in word document so there you can use launch word and if your word document is already open then you can use attached to running word document right save action can be used to save the document and close word can be used to close the document right you can also read data from the document where you will get an option to read data from a specific page and also you will get options to read the data from the entire word document here you can write to a word document you can also insert image in word document so these actions are available where you will have to specify the path of the image further you have another action which is find and replace words in document which can be very useful while automating the tasks related to word document A new action has been added under the work queues where you will have an action called update work queue item processing nodes right so this action you can use to update the processing nodes for the queue item another action which has been introduced is create HTML content so this action is very useful while sending out an email in in a very specific format where you can draw a table or change the color of the text you can set a heading of the email body right so this action i have already covered in my previous video so you can check out on my channel a new action has been introduced in sap category if your sap application is already open in that case you can use attach attach action to attach to the running instance of a sap so that can help you to 
automate the tasks without launching it because it will automatically interact with the open session of the SAP. Under the SharePoint category, a new action has been introduced which is create new document set. So that also can be used to automate the tasks related to SharePoint. So these are the new features introduced in latest version of Power Automate Desktop. In my next videos, I will try to cover these actions. So please watch those videos when I release it and please subscribe my YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so that you can get the updates. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.